thousand dollars was uh, and we're back with the Stegatarian Part Three. Okay. Welcome back to the Stegatarian. This is part three. I think I'm just gonna... No, I don't know. I kind of want to mute it. At the same time, I'm just like, mmm. I have to turn down my thing again. Hold on. It just gets louder and louder. Let's... We'll continue from the gambling favor and then we'll come back. The game before this one had four possible endings. To the right are the titles of those endings. Choose which one you would like to pick up from. Good luck and remember, sometimes luck isn't a val is as valuable as skill and preparation. We'll do gambling fever. The SS badass named so by Captain Sage. Shit, Shane. Guess we found something you're good at. Jesus, man, Shane is thrashing at craps. Skill, baby. Want me to throw him overboard? No, we might need him for food later. That's too damn tempting. <laughs> Outside you hear a loud boom. The entire riverboat rumbles. Brace yourself. What the fuck? That was an explosion. Everyone arm yourselves. Oh, what the hell? Another hit. At the forest's edge, they have a fucking Sadar or RPG or some such. Everyone, return fire. Sage, we'll distract them. You make the river's edge and find them. Sage, get at top and see if you can spot them. Uh... Mmm... Sage, we'll distract them. You make for the river's edge and find them. Provide cover while he swims for shore. Oh my god, he's such a badass. G give me another! One more! Go and shoot him, good boy. Wooey! I know some motherfuckers who are about to die horribly. Sage predicts prediction proves exact. Even with the hooplehead slain, the SS badass still sinks. You all swim to shore and gather what supplies that could be saved. Fuck, what do we do now? I really like that boat. We should collect ourselves and go through our supplies. Screw this, I'm swimming out to the boat to recover more supplies. Go through our supplies. Shane, Dusty, you help Anna sort out our shit. Sage will get us some food. You check your inventory and sort the remaining supplies. At least we're well armed, we're armed well enough. Sage fishes while you and the others finish sorting. Sage puts that fish over the fire. Let's get, let's get eat and get some rest. We should fake sleeping near the fire, but watch from afar. Let us sit up the hill while this fish goes. Uh... Oh shit! During Shane's watch, hill people sneak into camp and kill you all while you sleep. Motherfucker. Uh, well... Let's sit up the hill while the fish cooks. Dark eyes fall on your camp. River folk. We get down there slitting them good. Fun! Oh god! I love shooting hillbillies by moonlight. Yeah, bush worked. So glad we caught them, etc, etc. Let's get that fish and have a nap. Sounds like a plan. Well, let's question this bucktooth bathroom first. Good it, Sage. How many of you alligator fucking toothless cunts are, look are there in this woods? I don't know how we got looking. There are a few of us getting get you good as I would. Oh, that's nice. So there are even so there are even more here. Daddy used to bang this Creole gal. She had hill folk family. They can be thick in the woods, caravans and the like. Always on the move. No surprise really that they would survive this shit. We should do the same. Let's keep moving until we find a safe place and kill this fucker. Sage ends him. These fuckers are going to be dogging us from here to West Memphis. We need to get another vehicle. Maybe if we could reach the Gulf, we could live off a fishing boat or something for a while. 
Oh yeah. It's this thing again. I'm gonna eat you. Oh. I'm gonna eat you. What? I'm gonna This is creepy. Pick you up on the ground. I I'm gonna, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna mute you because you're really creepy. All we have right now are our legs. Let's get walking and we'll find something on the way. You know, I I should mute these beforehand, but it's weird to sit here in silence. We all travel for days. Keep walking for days. We follow the edge using the river for food. So Sage, what's the deal with you? Really, why do you know all the survival stuff and why do you sometimes have fond memories of your father than other times terrible ones? Well, my father was a mountain man, a modern one, I guess. We traveled the states, living on the road, ripping off travelers, hiding in the woods from police, gambling on our lives frequently. He's such a badass. Some days we were rich, others we had nothing. Some nights we ate fine shrimp meals, and others we picked our over roadkill. It's just how you learn, I guess. I learned to survive. Like when I was eight, I was kidnapped by a homeless man. Holy dang. Shit. Yeah, but I killed him with a claw hammer. Dad told me later after I found my way home, he said he wasn't going to look for me. If a cub can't find his way back to the cave, then it isn't meant to survive. Oh my god. Father didn't want to breed in weakness. Men and pandas are only weak animals. He'd always say. Oh. That is kind of horrible. Horrible and true. Shh. You hear that? Airboats likely topped with some kind of backwoods riffraff. Everyone leap in the, to the water. They won't see us. Shit. Everyone be on the guard. Maybe they won't mean us harm. Pirates, fire at will and head for the hills. They actually seem quite reasonable and give you guys directions. They tell you he, there's a dock on the river about 40 miles south, but has some paddle boats in it. Beats walking. Let's go. They also trade you an M60 assault weapon for two bags of Sage's Fruit Loops. You've been saving. It was hard for him to part with it, but they included a belt of ammo. Sage, we so don't need a gun that big. Oh my god, I hope you let me shoot it some. While you talk, though, you're viewed from afar. An old friend follows. Shit, this humidity is terrible. Feel like I need a chew before I breathe. Sage, maybe if you let me haul the big gun for you, it wouldn't feel so hot. Ambush! Shit! Move back. They're boiling from the woods. Fuck that. Move in. Push them back. Move back towards the river. Move into the water. They won't follow us there. Try to push the undead back with Melee while your friend escapes. Run downstream as fast as possible, firing back at the undead that follow. Um, I have this feeling I'm going to die. Move into the water. They won't follow us there. Um, They probably will with the way they're smart. Um, let's run downstream as fast as possible. For I'm back at the end of the follow. Undead sprang up from the river as well. I knew it. But they seem to die the same. Continue down the river stream toward the paddle boats. Slowly their numbers thin almost as if their morale is as damaged as their ranks. Keep shooting and moving. What else can you do? The dead stop following. Phew. Let's keep going. We'll find the docks. We'll, uh, mourn Shane later. Wait, Shane died? When did he die? What? I wasn't paying attention. When you find this small dock, there are small boats as possible. As promised, as possible. After some fun, gather gas from the other boats and find a few good oars. You're ready after some fun. Gather gas from the other boats and find a few good oars. You're ready to get head down the gulf. Hope you like fish and seagulls. Okay, and then let's do fucking America. I don't think I I don't think we did the man wilderness one. Okay. Berger population five. Berger is a fine little town in Missouri. They're considered by most to be wine capital of the state, hosting seven vine yards of notable size. Great old agriculture and even a genuine old-time rail station. Just one thing about Berger. It's full of freaking zombies. But you're trying to fix that. You know, guys, this is really a great little town. It's like quaint or something. Did you see the church? I'm totally calling it. I love old buildings. <laughs> oh, what's that? You're looking for Sage? 
Of course, no problem. He sleeps in the church. You can find him there. Nice. You could be our local preacher. Friar Sage has a nice ring to it. I'll drink holy water and shoot fire out of my ass. <laughs> Sage, man, what is it that you think preachers do? Whoa, hey, no. Sage don't play hide the magic pickle with little kids. <laughs> what the fuck is hide the magic pickle? I hate that game. Hey, any of you daffy bastards know how many more of the fuckers we have to kill before we eat? Eh, Shane. Nobody likes you. Mmm. Um, town has, a, like, 200 people in it, right? You know shit. Ha. I lost count back uh, around 80. Dusty, you know? Yeah, Dusty, do you know? Uh, I didn't know we were counting. I, I guess that would make more sense now that you mention it, since we came here because of the low population. Hmm. No, no biggie. We'll just kill any that we see. Hell, don't sweat it. We should burn these bodies up, pile them up, and find some gas. We just stick all the bodies in the townhouse outside of town and burn it. We need to get those bodies out of town. Let's find a wheelbarrow or something. Uh, that one. No, that's a good idea. The fire and noise will bring any sleepers out of the woodwork. I'd usually worry about the smoke giving away our position, but shit. We're so far from any other towns or cities. No good idea. Let's get piling. And let's get burning. You find a particularly hideous house and fill the living room with dead bodies. Then you burn it. Anyone got marshmallows? Wouldn't use that fire to make marshmallows because that's pretty gross. You know, when I was a kid, they thought I was pyro. With the pyro. You set one kitchen table on fire and everyone freaks out. Fire's pretty, though. Fire is pretty. You're right. Also, you have a really scary freaking smile right now. Hey, Dusty, are you surprised Sage is a pyro? <laughs> well, I'd step behind you. I heard that, and it was never proven. Nothing wrong with liking fire, anyhow. Sage was correct. The noise and light draws the remaining dead from the woods. Grab your hammer. Let's finish our work here. Let's kill them all. Sage leads, and you tear through their ranks. Kick-ish. Follow him into the fray. The dead continue to lumber in from the woods. Keep swinging. Don't stop until they're all dead again. After an hour or so, they begin to thin. Fewer and fewer appear. Take a breather. Killing that many people isn't an easy task. The dead are piled high once again. Looks like you might need a second fire. Ugh, not now. I'm tired. How many more can there be? This is exhausting. I agree. Oh, Jesus, Shane. Did you even kill a single one? Shit, Shane, you startled my ass. I didn't even know you were still around. Oh, sh sniper! Indeed, it is a sniper. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, who the fuck are you? We are the hands of Revelation, humble servants of the Lord. Pioneers of the end times, judgment is here for you. Surrender! We have you surrounded. We shall take you to be judged. Surrender. We're outnumbered. They cuff you and march you back to their settlement. There you see many of their cultists, and they have a pit. Hmm. This won't be good. Here you will be judged. You will face the walking dead again, as the good book tells. If you remain unchanged after, then you are judged pure. If you are bitten and take ill, then you are to join the sinners and the masses. None so far have survived judgment other than us. The hands of revelation. So what? You've all been bitten and haven't changed? Do not speak! We were spared by the good Lord, the Holy Ghost, those of my flock, have exempt from the test. Lord, claim their sinners, they shall be cleansed. That's what I thought, fuckers. The female, however, shall be kept for the breeding shed. You fucking backwards hicks. You ain't gonna touch the lady. The pit of judgment looks like it's just a hole in the ground filled with zombies. <gasps> Sage! They kick both Sage and you into the pit. Try not to land on your face. There are countless undead down there. Fight them off. You and Sage killed many, with only your bare hands, ten or twenty fall. You have no time to count, but the Hicks have gathered many, and you both grow tired. 
Your stamina could not last for th forever. Eventually, you're taken by the horde. <sighs> Sage, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. It's will barrel the shit away from here. That ain't a bad idea. We should be able to find one real easy around here. Good idea. In fact, we could just leave them or they rot and get in the groundwater. They'll be drinking that shit. We'll be drinking that shit. Gross. Sage, I don't want to drink no dead people, man. That sounds nasty. Don't worry, Dusty. I won't let you drink the bad men. He gathered the dead bodies and wheeled them to what Sage has lovingly named the meat pile. Sigh and head back to get another. Fucking dead. Fucking dead guys. Assholes even now. While stacking, you happen to notice someone sneaking around with a rifle. Sneak up on that little turkey shit. Looks like the bastard's sighting in on your friends, too. Fucking bash his head with a rock. Choke this pencil dick out. Uh, yep. Solid hid. He's out instantly. Puss. Take a look through the scope. See what he was looking at. Shit. Fuck. These guys have your friends. Time to drop them. While watching your friends through the scope, you missed the sleeper that was stuck in your sniper pal. Since he's out, now it decides to eat you instead. Fuck. Go back. Do it again. Gross. No, I'm not gonna let you drink that. Go get him. Choke him out. Choke that weasel turd out. He's limp as a roll of Pillsbury biscuits. Take a look through the scope, see what he's looking at. Drag this idiot to the side and wait for your friends to return. Hide in the bushes and wait for his friends to come check on him. While hiding in the bushes, you don't notice the creeper behind you. Oh, great! Oh my god! You drag this idiot to the side and wait for his friends to return. You sit on the fucker for a bit, waiting on Sage and the others to return. But they don't. Keep waiting. Mr. Bitey shows. He must have been following this gun-happy prick you're sitting on. Clobber this oddly friendly undead. Your loyal companion does what he does best. Sit back on your sniper stool. You wait a bit more. You realize they're not coming. Something must have happened. Un under you, the would-be sniper starts to stir. Slap him around a little bit to wake him up. Ugh. What? Fuck you. We done get your girl, man. Ha. Huh. Gonna enjoy your fucking... Enjoy her fucking kill your friend. Punch the fuck in the mouth. Continue. There's a lot of swearing in this. Are you alright? Pastors didn't get me. Lost them in the creek bed. They got Anna and Shane, though. Don't know what they... Don't know where they took them. Think I counted eight of those redneck motherfuckers. Oh. That w <sighs> Sage. Hey. You alright? Bastards didn't get me. Lost them in the creek bed. They got Anna and Shane, though. Don't know where they took them. Think I counted eight of those redneck motherfuckers. Shane. I caught one of them. Wanna get this pussy to talk? I'm squeamish. Yeah, go ahead. Watch in case Shane told them where we were. I'll get about eight minutes. Hey, lean up here, you inbred son of a bitch. Go do something else for a bit while Shane works. He says they're down in the basin. We can follow a dirt road most of the way, but they have at lookout, so we'll have to use the woods. The compound is small but guarded. Quietly follow Sage into their camp. Sage quickly leaps into action, like a boss. Scan the hill's edge for any other lookouts. Open fire into the camp. Uh, You see one and point them out to Sage. Burst out laughing because that was awesome. Split up now. Circle into the camp for our nab the dude's Uzi. Bye, Sage. Take your Uzi and just circle to the other side of the camp. Find a spot to cover Sage. Wait for a sign from Sage that you should head in. That must be it. Run and shoot in. Shoot wildly into the camp. <laughs> Die! The guard tower. Damn. Didn't even see that thing. Holy balls. A guard you didn't see armed with a rocket launcher. Shit. Sage, jump for cover. At least it's quick. Motherfucker. Um. Did I do this? Oh, fuck. Yeah. I already did that. Uh, split up now. Circle into the camp from the other side. You find a man taking a leak, armed with a long rifle. Wink. Take him out. Solid hit. Procure his rifle. A fine rifle with a once expensive scope. Scan the camp with his fancy weapon. Fucker in a tower. Headshot. 
Circle back around and rejoin the stage. Head down the hill into their camp. Circle back around. I saw that. I saw that. Good shot. I'm ready to move into the camp now. You move into the camp, killing as qu quietly as possible. Follow Sage silently. Taking the lives of men has certainly gotten more easy. Check the shed. Shed. When you pry open the door to the shed, you find it filled with the turn undead. Seems this God-fearing men have been keeping themselves some zombie friends. They swarm you, of course. And you're dead. Because you're dumb, bitch. Awesome. Circle the camp. Take him out. Take his rifle. Fancy weapon. Snipe, snipe. Circle around. Uh, it's, we're going to go to the garage. The garage is not vacant. It seems, uh, br seems a brax of sort. Heathens in the camp! Sage, we gotta kill these fuckers. You and Sage kill them all. Pick up that frickin' key. Sweet! In the back of the building, you find a lock that the key fits. Well, if the key fits, these fuckers will die. Oh, shit. It doesn't look good. Seems these children of God are keeping the women in back. This is unforgivable. Cut the women free. They fed Shane, they fed Shane to these those zombies they have in that pit. I want to kill every one of those motherfuckers. Here's a gun. Let's finish up here. Following Anna's example, you and Sage finish cleaning out the camp. Reload and make a cigarette while she finishes venting out her pump shotgun. It's so lonely without the music. Oh god, I can't remember what the voice I gave him. Whoa, Holt! Can we not seek a peaceful resolution? As humble servants of God, we should first behave as such. The world has ended, my friends. Shit. Where did this clown spring out of? The world ended when the first man became self-aware long before any of this. Anna, what do you want to do with him? Anna, shoot the fucker. What do you want to do with him? The priest dies with his head no longer whole. Pick up. After the cult is cleared and the remaining undead slain, Berger becomes safe. You and the prisoners of the cult are now cult now call it home. Safety through isolation. Victory is ours. Head back to the start. Uh, I think. I think we're good. I think we're good. Think so. I don't really want to go through through all the options because I'm lazy. We fuck is had a magic pickle. Oh, no one tell me. <laughs> well, that was Segatarian three. There is a part four, and I th yeah, there's a part four, and then there's another one of the Bayou, I think. So I'll do that. Here we go. See you guys. No, well, I'll see you guys in a bit.